This is episode 37 of Standing Out. Standing Out is a remarkable interview style podcast with the intention to highlight women and men making outstanding contributions in their field. This podcast is generally generously sponsored by Think Global. Think Global is a business advisory firm working with women entrepreneurs around the globe to scale their businesses to the next level. Today, I'd like to welcome Leslie Fox. Leslie is a change agent entrepreneur, a global leader, an inspired action business and personal coach who is passionately driven to assist people and organizations to break through to their fullest potential. Leslie owns Leslie's own personal journey includes formal education and certifications, yet what she cherishes and utilizes the most is her experience from the school of life. Beginning in the early 1980s, Leslie worked closely with doctors, scientists, shamans, and many change agents devoted to the exploration of human potential. Leslie is a founding investor in Smash Fund, a crowdfunding company set up in a new design as a public benefit corporation. She is co-founder of Morfox Global, a business collective committed to global transformation and wellness. Leslie is also writing a book along with coaching and mentoring individuals and businesses to reach their fullest potential through inspired action and collaboration. Leslie, welcome. Thank you, Katrina. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, good. Thanks for being here. So let's jump right in because you have had a really, really exciting week. And I think this topic of crowdfunding is very interesting to very. so many people um, because we're it, it's just an amazing time for it. And so I would love for you to share with everyone what has happened this week for you? Well, what has happened this week for um, Smash Fund specifically is we have gotten to the end or the beginning. We're in the beginning stage, but we've been on a long year and a half journey to bring um, a disruptive technology to the crowdfunding space. And a lot of you, as you, you speak to business people, so mm -hmm. we all know what that is. And, and disruption is great. Um, Smash Fund launched yet uh, two days ago. It's actual crowdfunding piece, and uh, people are now collecting donations as we speak um, on the new Smash Fund platform. And the Smash Fund platform is somewhat unique, and I'll just kind of let you, Katrina, guide through some of the questions that you have about Smash Fund because I'm sure that all your listeners will have the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so we all know what crowdfunding is. When we hear crowdfunding, we instantly think of a couple of platforms that do that. Share with us how, and this is so, I'm so excited and this is so interesting to me. Um, share how Smash Fund is different and how okay. it's disrupting that crowdfunding space. Well, um, traditionally, um, most people know the major crowdfunding people, uh, the space. It's, there's about 1,200 or so crowdfunding platforms around the world. Oh, wow. In, in this country, mm. uh, people know Kickstarter, Indiegogo, mm -hmm. uh, GoFundMe, Fundable, um, Patreon. There's, there are a lot of crowdfunding companies in the space. And um, Smash Fund is different because Smash Fund, a year and a half ago, established itself as a public benefit corporation. And so what does that mean? Okay, so a public benefit corp is a new style of corporation in this country that um, part, of its, part of your charter as that is that you are going to observe not just the investor's well-being, but the well-being of every single person and participant in, within the corporation. So um, like for social well-being, financial well-being, and it just really brings out, and it's what the original corporate charters way back when they were designed, that's what the original corporations were designed to do, mm. um, is to really support the total social structure, you know, not just the investors. It has become just the investors, but um, what makes Smash Fund so unique in being a public benefit corp is that by its charter, we actually... Uh, get to donate our revenues back to the crowd. Oh, so we wow. Are a revenue sharing company. So 80%, up to 80% of every single penny that we bring into Smash Fund gets returned back to the users on the platform. Oh, now that is so interesting because. I, I love some of these other crowdfunding platforms and I have definitely donated to campaigns, but what right. I get in return is a t-shirt or a poster or a bumper right. sticker. 
and, and that's from the person who's actually running the campaign. Right. Uh, Kickstarter, they just collect the fees. That's, that's all, the, and they never give back. And they charge a lot of fees. Right. So, um, if you, right now, if, if you're interested, you can go to smashfund.com, and there's an advantages tab, and you can kind of look at how Smashfund compares to, you know, other big names out there in the crowdfunding space. And what makes Smashfund so unique is that we're not only a crowdfunding platform, mm -hmm. but the crowdfunding platform is running on top of a proprietary social media platform like oh, LinkedIn, like LinkedIn okay. and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So um, it's a unique combination in the space. And you can build your crowdfunding platform and get donations from all the people. And we call them backers. Okay. You know, it's much more fun than calling donors. You know? right. <laughs> and actually, that's sort of a term. Uh, backers are sort of a, gene a common term used in the crowdfunding space. So okay. if you donate to my um, project, then you're a backer of my project, right? Mm -hmm. You know, or if I okay. donate five dollars or five hundred, whatever that is, to another somebody else's project on any platform, I'm a backer. You know, Got I'm not it. just a donor; I'm backing them. So, um, what's unique about Smash Fun, And I'll just I'll, I'll say it, and then I'll just kind of let it settle in for a minute. Smash Fun, Public Benefit Corporation, will be in a very short period of time the world's largest backer wow smash fund. not you mm -hmm. not me smash fund the public benefit corporation as we grow will be the largest backer on the planet wow that's and, the dream and then i know people are going like what do you mean but go ahead yeah so how do you I'm trying to formulate my next question. I have it scrambling <laughs> in my head, but that that's a weighty statement. It's uh, disruptive, isn't it? It's like, wow, what does that mean? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So if this question doesn't come out correct on the first try, I'm going to try it again. But, okay. but what, I'm, what I want to get at is one thing I know about your approach is so very interesting. One right now, it is um, invitation only, which I don't know that there's another platform like that. Two, there's benefits to someone who invites their network to join yes. the platform. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, so we'll talk about that. And what I want to know from that is, is that part of how you believe Smash Fund will grow so quickly? Yes, that is. That's exactly how. You know, we're all familiar with um, companies, all the social media. How many social media? Yeah. You're a social media company. Yes. <laughs> Perfectly. Okay, so all um, the launch of Facebook, of course, disrupted our world and in a really positive way. When we're talking about disruptive technologies, we're talking about Uber and Airbnb mm -hmm. and Facebook and Amazon, you know, and think about all the companies through our lifetime that when they committed to doing something so different that it literally changed our world. Mm. And that's what I'm talking about, like unicorn companies and disruptive yeah. meaning. You know, it's not the status quo. So people have a hard time grasping the the sort of the big vision. But so let's let's talk about that because yeah. um, as a social media company, mm -hmm. it is all about connectivity. So right. you have when you join Smash Fun, you'll create your profile just like you would on uh, LinkedIn or Instagram or you know Facebook. So you have a little profile and. Um, the key is to keep it fun and, and we're all about posting your passion. Mm -hmm. So um, when you post, Hey there, Hi, we post, have a little visitor this is all for all the working moms. Let's see. It's Hi, summer people. break and this is Lydia. <laughs> Hi Lydia. How are you? <laughs> so a little and, quiet. Okay. <laughs> and so what we, I want to get around to speaking to this generation yeah. um, that Lydia's in because, you oh know, gosh, how incredible. Dream. So what Smash Fund does is the way they share the revenue, which is 80% of the revenue we bring in, the way we give it back to every single user, subscriber on the platform, is by your connectivity. Ah, okay. So let's just imagine, let's go back to what you know, um, to the core of your being, social right. media. Oh my God, all um, day, every day. Yeah. And I love that you mentioned those companies like Uber and Airbnb and Facebook. I mean, we know 
I, just by the nature of what I do, I'm on Facebook all day, every day. We have an Airbnb guest in our house right now. Right. Like we are so much the users and those people. Um, That's right. So happy for those disruptions. Like that has changed our life and we it's love it. Your life. And yeah. it's taken some of the, it's put the control back into the user base. In other words, you can decide whether or not you want to rent a house, rent a right. house, right. whether or not you want to drive your own car right. and offer transportation. But the, and the unique thing, especially about Uber, Uber's listed, you know, Uber's valuation is over the top, but you know what they are? They're a platform. They're not a taxi right. company. Right. You know what else they do? They share their revenue. Oh. So they're oh, a revenue sharing company, just like Smashfun's going to be. Okay. Mm. So they give 80%. Mm. You get in the Uber car or Lyft or whatever, and, and mm. you pay your your ride, your transportation fee, right? And it goes right. up, to, it goes into Uber. It does not go to the taxi driver or the car driver. And right. then Uber takes up to, depending on when you're driving and they're up to 80%. And guess what? Pushes it right back down to the person who took you. So they're oh, wow. a yeah. company. They're a revenue sharing platform. Mm -hmm. And Uber sort of a household name now. So that's the same idea as smash fun. Okay. Yes. So this was so interesting and you've probably saw my face in, in shock and excitement right before we started this call and the listeners didn't get to see that, but I have a smash fund account and I just happened to log in to get my code before this interview and was checking things out. And I had six people in my circle right. and I'm like, Oh my God, that's so amazing and exciting. Right. And I think it really goes to one of the best pieces of advice oh, I had nice. early on. Um, in this company was grow your audience before you need it. And I think that's, that's exactly. is like a perfect example of that because so many of us, I mean, you know, I started on Facebook in gosh, probably 2007, I think just personal usage, just checking right. it out. Um, and now we're connected to so many people. And I think that brings so much value one from a business standpoint, but then also just from a standpoint of wanting to do different things personally. Um, and so this is exactly the yeah. core. This is yeah. the, and so you understand the the ability, and and you know, like on your Facebook, you'll have your personal friends, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are personal connections. Okay, and Smash right. Fun, you'll invite people to join. Those will be your personal connections. But out of that, out of those personal connections, you have all this viral connectivity. Right. It's not who you know. It's like you put all everybody, and I would beg, I would wonder, it would be in awe that you've been a user for 10 years now. Like mm -hmm. when, almost when uh, Facebook launched. Right, right. And, um, and so you're also in the beginning stages of a new, uh, another technology with Smash Fund in the mm -hmm. beginning. We haven't officially even opened our doors yet. We haven't even started charging credit cards Which yet. is incredible. Like we already know. have built something and... It's, it's not even there yet. I mean, it's amazing. So your connectivity, yeah. we call it overlap okay. because we actually show people um, all of, it's not just your own personal connections, but guess what? It's the connections from all the people in the crowd um, beside you and mm -hmm. their connections. So you already have a revenue share starting. Ah, interesting. Every single month, every single month. And as that grows, imagine, imagine when you started at Facebook, maybe you had a few, mm -hmm. if you could see beside, behind the algorithm screen, you might have 20, 30,000, maybe even hundreds of thousands of connections on the social graph. You can't see it, right? Right. But Facebook knows it and they're benefiting. Smash Fun is using the same model, but you get something in return. You get $4 every single month for all your personal connections. Wow. Put into your, put into your project page. Right. That's pre-funding well, your dreams. It is pre-funding. And I love that word. I think we too often post-fund or don't fund at all. Yes. <laughs> so pre-funding is great. So for anyone who's listening to this and I still want to keep you on and talk a little bit more about entrepreneurship and some lessons you've learned, but mm -hmm. as, um, as we move from smash fun, I, for anyone who is lis listening, can you talk a little bit about the types of projects that they can put on smash fund and how to get that going or just how to get started? In general? I have this, uh, just the other day, 
because uh, people find it confusing. And now, especially when we didn't have any media out there, you can go to Smash Fun, you can read the FAQs, you can look at the blogs. We now have an explainer video. But yes, I have these seven simple steps to financial freedom with Smash Fun. You want to hear what they are? Oh, yeah. They all move the seven step yes. method, right? <laughs> One. Yes. All right, go for uh, it. Join today on Smash Fun with the invite code that you're provided with. So your okay. listeners may want your invite code because you do have to have an invite code because we are a subscription-based uh, platform. So somebody's going to give you an invite code and join. Okay. When you go to Smash Fun, then they're going to then you're going to create a profile page. And that's similar to your Facebook page or your LinkedIn account. Okay. And, you wanna, and this is about your passions. Remember, what Smash Fund is all about is funding your dreams and passions. Mm, okay. Not kitty cats. You know, it's about okay. your dreams and passions. And it's not about who you went to dinner with last night and all that. This is about bringing the dreamer, awakening the dreamer mm, okay. in all of us. And, and understanding the dreamer needs to can be awakened if they feel like there's hope for them to be able to accomplish what they want. So and I think that is such a, a great point so to mention because I know, so our company just turned five this month and we were so excited. Thank you. Um, and one, I mean, this little one on my lap here was two weeks old when the company started and now she's playing with my lipstick because for yes. all of those who can't see her. <laughs> one more year, she'll be running your social media company. <laughs> But I will say probably definitely in year one, two, probably even into year three, there was that piece of just not enough support out there. Like I felt like I had this idea, but there, I didn't have the funding. I didn't have the backing. And so it took years for me to get, um, to get those things. And I think as they start coming along, you get more and more confident in what you're doing and start dreaming bigger and thinking, hey, this can actually happen. Exactly. Um, when you yeah. find support, when you have support, financial, emotional, and all of that, then your dreams become bigger. Mm -hmm. you know, um, and I'll just, I don't know how much more time we have, but I can remember the, the day. I can remember what, where I was exactly. I can remember how it felt, the temperature, when I realized I'd forgotten how to dream. It was oh. about 15 years ago, and I was walking in this beautiful state park along yeah. with my partner at that time, and I stopped. And I, I, the, the sensor, my sensory system is still there in, in that mm -hmm. the sunshine, the heat. I was walking my dog. I mean, every moment wow. is still with me when I realized that I had lost the ability to dream because I was being asked, what do you want? And even though there's this burning passion and desire, and I'm sure this happens to a lot of us, there's this yearning and burning for us to live our purpose. Right. And yet where's the hope and where's the ability to dream? And, and part of my coaching and my experience in life has come from, of course, 54 years, uh, but, is actually awakening the dreamer in myself, which is actually why I, was, I created the opportunity to be sitting in front of uh, the, the CEO of Smash Fund a year and a half ago and probably be one of the second or third people that ever invested in the Smash Fund company a year and a half ago. Wow. Because I worked on my own dream and I was dreaming bigger, finally. Finally. Doesn't that feel so good? Oh, my you know, God. It's, we don't have to be – there's no reason for us to – be small. We, we all right. have gifts and man, it feels so, good. So this investment in smash fund mm -hmm. has been my long-term dream. This is my dream yeah. is to participate in a movement because I'm, I'm a collaborator mm -hmm. is to participate in a movement that will create global. We're not talking about us and us and Canada now, but before this airs, we might already have opened in another country. Wow. Smash fun. I know we're already into it. But we're talking about awakening and offering hope because Smash Fund's revenue sharing model um, offers revenue every single month to build your and, and to actually, okay, I'm working another job, but I really want to do this. So what is that? $2,000? 
if you had $2,000 extra a month coming in because you've created this great crowd and, and all your, and people are donating to your project page, that's life changing. You can now take the next step to build yeah. your dream. Maybe I can leave, maybe I can go part time. And then you begin to work. But Smash Fund is all about pre funding your dreams. And just like you told me and you share with your people, you need mm -hmm. to build your followers before you need your followers. Right. Well, Smash Fund allows you to back your dream before you even know what it is. And wow. Um, and Stay entrepreneurs fine. understand this. Mm -hmm. Oh, because, gosh. You know, it's like, yes, this is small. I got to start small, but really. Um, and I'll, at the, at the end, I'll go through the seven steps cause I had fun writing it to smash. My <laughs> so tell um, us the other, what okay. was it? Did okay. So number two? one, join oh. smash Fund. Okay. Got it. Two, create a profile page and talk about your passion. Passions. That might mean you want to travel the world and photograph. That might mean you want to write a book. Oh. It doesn't mean work. It means we've got to come back to what wakes us up, what creates mm. vibrancy and joy on the planet. Okay. This is about joy. Number three, download the Smash Fund app on your phone. Ooh, Yay. Getting that baby it's, easy to, it's easy to yeah. invite people and send your code. Ah, got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Number four, re start receiving donations by creating your project page. That's a little different than your profile. Okay. But you can create, you can have a profile, but maybe you're not ready to crowdfund yet. Mm. Maybe you just want to build your network, your social media network, your crowd, so to speak, and earn dollars from that. And then suddenly you have this inspired idea that you go, I can do that now. Look, but so then you post the project and put it out to the world. So create your crowdfunding page and share it with all those people. Just share it on social media. And then the most important is use your special invite code. Everybody has mm. an invite code. Okay. You ask others to do the same, you mm -hmm. know, because that's how you build Smash Fund is you say, hey, you've got a dream, join Smash Fund. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's the basics. So start re receiving crowd funds, start receiving revenue share. And the last two are very, very, very important. And those are my yeah. most Okay. First of all, you have fun. Oh, that's because great. Because this is about passion and joy. Right. Dream bigger. Dream bigger than you ever thought you could. Okay, mm. just keep expanding your dream. Share with others and build community because Smash Fund is a, a global community. It will be a global community with all these people having um, crowdfunding pages all over the world that you can communicate with through our messaging app. If you're doing something in this country, but you see somebody in India doing something else, guess what? You can collaborate and you can send mm -hmm. donations back and forth all within the Smash Fund app, or Smash wow. Fund platform. So um, we're creating our own backing community. Okay. Yes. So here's the big step. Take action. And that is, I'm so glad you said it. I feel wow. like that is one to tell people to do, uh, mm -hmm. everyone who is listening is invited. I mean, do, do this <laughs> right. you know? and, and take action. And then what's going to happen is, um, this smash fund is a subscription base. It's $149. Okay. It's up in the bucket mm -hmm. to build your dreams. Where right. else can you go and get monthly funding for that can grow and grow and grow with no limits. There's no fees. This is the big change, okay? If you have, um, if you had a Kickstarter campaign, and, and I'm, a, I'm talking from actual experience here, not mine, but uh, my friend, who raised three hundred and fifty thousand dollars on Kickstarter. Well, Kickstarter took, and you know, they had two months to do it, right? Mm -hmm. There's timelines. There's so they had to pay the hundred and seventy-five dollar fee to Kickstarter, and then Kickstarter oh. took seventeen thousand dollars from the three hundred and fifty oh. in fees. Yeah. Plus the credit card transaction fee. Plus oh, the two which is another two or three percent. Yes. And okay. all, all crowdfunding companies do that. Okay. So on Smash Fund, let's say you couldn't make that money in two months. Let's say, uh, you know, so on Smash Fund, if you did that same campaign in the same time frame, Smash Fund, your subscription fee pays everything. It would have cost you two months subscription. So it would have cost you $300 instead of $17,000. Oh Right. Uh, no. And if you didn't make it, you're not penalized. You just pay $350,000 in a year. It doesn't matter. And there's no money raising fees except for the transaction. This is going to change. So yeah. instead of the back end fees, that's what everybody's hit on. You know, the back end fees on crowdfunding. Smash funds 
telling people up front, here's the fee, the one fee, the one and only fee. Yeah. Go for it. That's it. And there's none Go of these surprise it. things. Right. And, and again, hashtag no brainer. That hashtag no brainer and hashtag <laughs> take action. Right. Take action. So here, never stop and keep sharing your dreams and the opportunity with everybody else you know in your life. And what happens is you start living your dreams and everybody else. And so all the, all your friends begin to start living their passions as well. So we've right. created you see that passion. it's a movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a movement. Okay. So before we wrap up one last question for you and yes. in your bio, you mentioned you have all the education and credentials as you know, many of us do yeah. learn most of your lessons from the school of life. What is the best lesson you can share with us? Well, is to, you know, that moment that I shared with you when I was miserable and, yeah. and um, you know, and realizing that I'd forgotten how to dream. So, and of course that grew into a business that I called inspired action. So I guess what I have learned is, and I'm a dreamer. So this is hard for me is every single day, every single day, take one small step. Toward ah. It's the action piece because dreamers, we have a lot of dreamers out there. I'm one of them. I can sit and dream all day. I'm one of these creative types. Yeah. But if I don't take action, they're going nowhere. And, and the school of life is we live in a 3D world. Yeah. Dreams, you need to dream. But then taking one small action every single day, it doesn't have to be big. Just one step will change your life. You'll go back in a year from now and you'll look, oh my God, you know. It's so that's, my, that's my inspired action. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Inspired action. That um, reminds me of that quote. I think it might be a Thomas Jefferson quote, some well-known historical figure. Um, but he says, every 10,000 mile journey starts with a single step. And that's what it is. It's just keep stepping, 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 and you get there. And it's, it is really incredible to look back at what a difference a year make and a year makes and what a difference a hundred actions can make, you know, and I'm sure you can speak on this yourself. You didn't see where you were going until you kept. Oh my taking. gosh. No, no, I, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm so glad I kept going. I can right. say that. <laughs> and now I can see, you know, five years from now. Um, but at the beginning, I feel like it was just so scary and risky that um, it didn't feel long term to me. I thought I'm going right. to try it. Um, but it took a while for me to get fully in and it took some good momentum and support before I'm like, yes, we are doing this. It's going. Right. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's one foot in front of the other. Katrina smash fun is, um, so fortunate and proud to have you as a creator on the platform Aww. and, yeah. and that we will, you, your smash fun will, your revenue share from smash fun <clears throat> will continue to grow as well as I'm sure whatever project you choose to post, you'll find lots of backers out there because you're the, you're the dreamer. You're actually the whole, you're the perfect uh, person for smash fun an entrepreneur with dreams who's willing to take action oh my gosh thank you that makes my heart so happy and I yeah. know um, I usually don't have my children in the interviews and Lydia popped in here today and both of my kids are the biggest reminder for me what are you doing what, what I do it's, right. it's it I'm one of those people that um, I consider myself an orbit changer in that uh -huh. maybe I had a a very uh, unique upbringing and even to get to where I am today, I think it's been just a series of taking action and finding different things um, to be a part of. And my biggest motivator is creating a, a, a legacy for my kids and showing them that they can follow their dreams and do what they want. Um, and so I so, love it. I am so excited to get so my put your expertise to work. Yeah, I know. You build your crowds, and guess what? If you build your crowd on uh, Smash Fun, it, your daughter will be taken care of for a very, oh, very long awesome. time. Oh, yeah. I, and I want that. Um, okay, so as we wrap up, I do want to share with everyone. Um, for those of you who are listening who want to get involved, as Leslie mentioned you do need an invitation code so I will put the link below this interview um, but if you are taking notes and have a pen or just a tablet or something ready the invitation code is 381 
1-800-273-6025. And you'll see, um, what do they see, Leslie? Just a, a box to put the code in and it says invitation code. Well, it'll just, when you go to smashfun.com right now, because we'll be, you know, growing so quickly, you'll see join now. It's always going to be okay. a big box that says join now. And then when they click on join now, they'll put their information in, they will put a credit card in, and then they'll be asked for the invitation code. Okay, okay, perfect. And so then they're going to be in your rocking crowd and they'll get overlap from all your people and be helping each other on so many levels. Oh, I can't wait. How exciting. Yes. Leslie, thank you for taking a few thank minutes you. today. I'm so excited to have you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Katrina. Oh, you're welcome.